even as Google finally releases a credible GPT-4 competitor, it appears that OpenAI might be heading in some new directions. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in around five minutes. As you might have guessed, our main story today is going to be about Google changing the Bard brand to Gemini and giving access to their most advanced Ultra model, which just kicked off today. However, the information has some really interesting reporting from behind the scenes in OpenAI in a piece that they titled, OpenAI Shifts AI Battleground to Software that Operates Devices and Automates Tasks. Now, if you were an AI Breakdown listener last year, you heard me talk a lot about AI agents. One of the huge themes among developers was trying to move to an era where instead of just answering people's questions, AI agents actually had the capacity to solve their problems. In other words, you could give them a problem and the agent could figure out what tasks were needed to solve that problem or accomplish that goal, including potentially leveraging other agents to do so. Now, this is a reality that is not here yet. There are lots and lots of companies trying and experimenting and building towards that, some of which are getting increasingly high capacity in some specific functions, but there is not yet a generalist AI agent, winner, or even really leader. OpenAI appears to be determined to change that. Writes the information, OpenAI is developing a form of agent software to automate complex tasks by effectively taking over a customer's device. The customer could then ask the ChatGPT agent to transfer data from a document to a spreadsheet for analysis, for instance, or to automatically fill out expense reports and enter them into, into accounting software. These kinds of requests would trigger the agent to perform the clicks, cursor movements, text typing, and other actions humans take as they work with different apps. Now, apparently they are working on actually two different types of AI agents. The one that we just described, which would take over a person's specific device, and another which would be specifically for web-based tasks. Now, this makes sense given that Sam Altman has discussed his vision for ChatGPT as ultimately a, quote, super smart personal assistant for work. However, as the information also points out, it could bring OpenAI increasingly in competition with Microsoft, who are, of course, positioning Copilot as exactly this sort of thing. Although how far Microsoft is in any sort of plans or developments around AI agent sort of behavior isn't clear at all. There are also real questions about whether users will be comfortable with this. Right now, the only types of software that take over people's computers are malware and viruses, and so getting over that impression could be really difficult. Now, these are not new efforts, apparently. It appears that they've actually been in development for more than a year. However, there are some indications that employees within OpenAI think that these tools are going to be a really, really big deal. One of the people who was the information sources, for example, pointed out a tweet from Ben Newhouse, who is an OpenAI employee who this source said had worked on computer using agents, and Ben on Twitter posted, building what I think could be an industry-defining zero-to-one product that leverages the latest and greatest from our upcoming models. Adding even more hype to that cryptic announcement, Pete Wellander, OpenAI's vice president of product, added, this product that Ben was describing will, quote, change everything. Now, of course, there are other indicators. That these are certainly the lines that people are thinking about. In many ways, if you go back and look at how OpenAI framed custom GPTs, it was as a very first step towards an agent-like future. They, of course, also launched at their Dev Day event the Assistance API, which is explicitly about helping developers build light agent-type experiences in their applications. So right now, this is just a behind-the-scenes report. There's no indication that anything is coming soon, but it's consistent with other things that we've heard, and it certainly seems to suggest where the AI arms race could be headed next. It is certainly something that, if nothing else, I will be watching closely and letting you know if I hear anything more or frankly, probably even less definitive. Now, another company that we've been guessing at their AI strategy and who are finally starting to tease it themselves as of Tim Cook talking to investors recently is, of course, Apple. One of the indicators that Apple is getting deeper and deeper into its own AI strategy is the fact that they have been increasing their open source releases in the space. The latest is something called MLLM Guided Image Editing, or MGIE. It's a model that lets users use plain language to edit a photo without any photo editing software. So think of the sort of in-painting that got people so excited in Midjourney and Adobe image applications last year. Want to be wearing a different color shirt in a photo? Just say I want my shirt to be a different color. Now, according to The Verge, the model blends two different uses of multimodal language prompts. First, it learns how to interpret user prompts, then it imagines what the edit would look like. Now, part of what makes this different is there is reasoning involved. So for example, if you had a picture of a pepperoni pizza and you typed in the prompt, make it more healthy, MGIE would add vegetable toppings. This is very different than having to use a prompt, add vegetable toppings. Now, if you are interested in trying this out, 
You can download it from GitHub or you can do a web demo over on Hugging Face. Lastly today, another interesting survey about U.S. worker attitudes towards artificial intelligence. This one comes from Rutgers University's Heldrick Center for Workforce Development, which has multi-decade experience of surveying Americans around the impact of new technology in the workplace. Now, one thing that's perhaps not surprising is that there is meaningful concern among people about their job being eliminated by AI. Three in ten have that worry. However, a far more dominant worry, at least right now, has to do with the, quote, hidden hand of AI being involved in human resource decision-making, i.e. hiring and firing. When it comes to those issues for AI, 7 in 10 U.S. workers say they're very or somewhat concerned. As the center's director, Carl Van Horn, puts it, a concern about the hidden hand out there, that I'm not going to get a chance to really discuss my virtues with the hiring officer or with my boss. Instead, there'll be some algorithm that tells me whether I stay or go. So some pretty interesting nuance we're getting into when it comes to people's perceptions and fears around AI. Always interesting to see these new stats, although, of course, take them as one tiny piece of evidence in a much larger world. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. I'll be back soon with the main AI Breakdown.